Well, good morning, all. This is Patricia, and I am traveling for history. Happy New Year, by the way. I hope that January 2024 has been your best January yet, and may the rest of 2024 be bountiful. Also, if you watched my YouTube video today, then you saw that I'm going on vacation, my first in four years. So the only re way that really affects you is on my YouTube channel, I will not have any videos uploaded at all whilst I'm away. So that's from Saturday, January 27, until February 9, 2024. And I already have a video scheduled for Saturday, February 10. So, beautiful thing. So let's get uh, talking about uh, today's TV topic, and that is comments and mitigation techniques. These mitigation techniques are primarily for creators. Uh, so you, there may be some things that you can do if you're not a creator, uh, but mostly I'm talking about things that, that we can do to mitigate things that people put in the comments. All righty, so let's start with, oh, and actually, and just wanted to let you know that I'm on social media just like you are. I'm on Facebook, I'm on uh, Instagram, and TikTok, all as Traveling for History, and I'm also on X, formerly known as Twitter, as traveling for high one. Now you could go to the first three sites and um, type in at traveling for history and boom, you found me. And uh, you could go to X and type in at traveling for high one and you found me again. Please make sure to drop a comment should you decide to visit. So let's start with um, YouTube because everything has, has come about because of YouTube. I can't block people on YouTube. I mean, I, I just, I can't. I can't do that. It doesn't work that way. But I do have other options. So I'm going to start with the most egregious series of comments and then uh, work up from there because I want to end on a positive note. So on YouTube, I had uploaded a video on a school. And this guy came into the comments and said, wow, I went to school there. That's fabulous. And then we talked about that for a while. Uh, I love when people comment on my videos. It's a great way to have conversations. And uh, I really love that. I, I want that. I want that for my channel, absolutely. And, and I enjoy chatting. As it went on, though, it really devolved. And um, how did that happen? Well, in one of the comments, this guy actually put a red rose. Now, uh, red rose symbolizes love, and um, absolutely not. So uh, and that may not be your interpretation, but it sure is mine. So for future people, do not use red roses. Um, he went on to say that uh, he really enjoyed talking to me, that um, that uh, he doesn't um, have conversations at home. He's married. It talks, uh, you know, it's about talking to your spouse. Um, you know, he, he found my uh, website, which is you know, travelingforhistory.com, and um, so he decided to follow me there. And uh, what else? He. Um, I had deleted a variety of comments that were really over the top. And then a few months later, when I went back to look for some other reason, he had scrubbed almost all of his comments, almost all of them. So if someone else is scrubbing their comments, they're over the top. I remember the last one he wrote was, um, we can, uh, we can tr you can film and we can tr be traveling for history together. Ah! Now, I didn't use the mitigation technique on him uh, because it was kind of early in my YouTube stage and everything counts. Everything counts on YouTube uh, to get more promotions of your videos. So I didn't want to delete, or I didn't want to, I didn't want to use the technique I'm about to tell you about because um, I felt I needed the comments, but really you don't have to deal with garbage like that from anyone. And I would recommend that you not 
do what I did to allow that to stand, allow that to continue, because it was just one big creep fest. Um, so what can you do? Well, you can hide a user from your channel. And what does that mean? It means that, in fact, you can see this list here. Um, the, first, the first one, pin, means that if someone has written this fabulous comment, uh, or question even, you can, you can stick a, like a push pin in it, and it will be at the top of the comments. People can see it, and um, that's fabulous. Remove just means delete. I looked that up on Google. You know, Google owns YouTube. So I Googled it to see if there's a difference between remove and delete because they use delete elsewhere. And um, apparently there's no difference. So remove is that. A hide user from channel is the one though I'm gonna tell you about. It's, um, it's a bit of a parlor trick, which I absolutely adore. <laughs> I can't block anyone on, on um, YouTube, and why would I want to? I want them to watch my videos. So watch away. What it means, though, is when they type a comment, they will see it, and no one else will. If they're, if they're commenting, I don't get notifications, because, of course, no one else is seeing them, so it doesn't matter. But uh, will they figure that out after a while? I don't know. If they watch this video, they'll know. Uh, so I didn't do that to him. But I have used it twice, both on women and both with the same dog on video. So they, uh, so the video was the interior tour of the Lois McClure. And yes, I do love that that rhymes. The um, one woman, well, actually, let me go back a little bit. So at the start of that video, I do say that uh, the information I'm about to share comes from the Lake Champlain Maritime Museum's website because they will know more about the Lois McClure than I ever will. Uh, and the Lois McClure is a, is, is a canal boat. So um, one woman commented, if you don't know what you're talking about, don't say anything. <laughs> What? Clearly, she did not watch more of that video um, to have heard the rest. So I initially commented and figured, oh, the heck with this. I deleted my comment and hit her for my channel. Uh, yeah, that, that was just obnoxious. And this other woman, so bizarre, she wrote a fairly lengthy, it was, it was a good sized paragraph. And she said, um, the, the person who gave the tour was named Jack. One of the best tours I've ever had. I would put it in the top 10 list of my favorite tours. And there was one point during this fabulous tour of, of the entire vessel that um, I, I had a question for him. And I said, well, you know, I don't really expect you to have an answer, but I figured I would ask. And I, so I asked, and boom, he just knew. He gave this fabulous info. I was blown away. What does this other woman say? Well, Jack did a better job than I expected him to. <laughs> poor Jack, poor Jack, oh my gosh, that poor guy. Um, now, when you like a video, what you have is a thumbs up. When I like someone's uh, comment, it's my logo and a red heart. I didn't like her comment, so I didn't, I didn't put a like on it. I got another notification, so I went back to see what the comment was, and she had changed it from the paragraph, the lengthy paragraph, to an absolute tome. I'm guessing she copied and pasted from the, Mar the Lake Champlain Maritime Museum's website because it was the same information I had talked about. You know, she had wanted me to contact her to talk about the things that Jack got wrong. Um, no, thank you. So I hid her for my channel too. She may still be commenting and who cares? <laughs> Only she will see it. But keep her in mind because I'm gonna start talking about another social media platform and what I did with her there. Um, 
So moving on to um, Facebook, you know, it's kind of surprising that as a creator, I don't have more uh, options. And, and there you can see that that's what that looks like. Uh, my logo is that small circle there. And um, this is a picture of the Hoover Dam, in case you don't know. So on Facebook, um, on my personal page, I can restrict friends. But I can't restrict people on my business page, which is Traveling for History. So what can I do there? I can block them. And uh, I think you know what block is. When you block someone, they can't see diddly squat. They can't comment. They can't see your stories. They can't see your, your posts. They just can't do anything. They can type in the search box as much as they want. And what a shame, they can't find you. So um, that woman who wrote the tome wrote the, pasted that same tome on Facebook and uh, I blocked her. Oh, just go away. Now, uh, to her credit, she has not come on my other social media platforms to comment because I think she knows the same fate she would suffer. Um, so, uh, so it's unfortunate. Oh, also on Facebook though, I do have, I do have something else. It's called Moderation Assist, and this is on my business page. So on there, uh, I can uh, I can put on there these these actions. So I can assign actions um, to perform automatically. And uh, so I've done that for nine things. So. For any one of these nine things, if someone does any of these things, and those are the nine things right there, uh, their, their comment will be automatically hidden. So the author has had at least three comments reported, deleted, or hidden by admins in the past 30 days. Yeah, if someone's been uh, behaving like that, they don't even have a chance to comment on my stuff. If they don't have any friends or followers, now. Yes, that could certainly be a new account. And once they have at least one friend or one follower, they'll be able to, to um, they'll be able to comment. Easy peasy. But if they don't, then you know it's it's a kind of a fun feature. I do have friends, for instance, who don't have pictures on their profiles. I get it. The picture I have on my personal profile is so tiny that you can't see me. You really can't see me unless you look, you're looking for me. Um, so comment contains profanity. Yeah, no, I, I don't want, you know, in my real life, sure, I swear. But uh, in my YouTube videos, it's, it's rare for me to swear. And comments, I don't swear in my comments either. So... Um, but if you're gonna swear, it's not gonna show up. If it has an image, now GIFs do show up, but um, if you have some other picture, that does not. And the ones I really like is if it has a link or specific links. Um, I don't want that because I don't want someone to click out of my, out of my uh, business Facebook to someplace else. It's not appropriate and I don't like it. So, you put a link in, it's not even going to show up. Now, for certain keywords, I don't actually have anything typed in on that one. So, um, But if I did, did decide to type in specific keywords, uh, then that would work. And if, of course, if they put a video in, uh, absolutely not. I want you to focus on what I've posted on my business page and not someone else's tripe. And that's really what I can do on um, Facebook. But let's talk about Instagram. They have, they have some um, nifty parlor tricks on there that I really like. I, uh, I have not done this yet, but I uh, don't want to say I'm looking forward to it either. Uh, I really just want, I just want to have conversations with people in the comments. Legitimate, um, preferably positive comments. Um, so this is my Instagram page. And um, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty busy, so I upload every day to it. Um, so 
I don't have to just block. That, that's a nice thing. I don't have to just block someone, but I can. Um, so one thing I can do is called restrict. Now, like I said, on Facebook, I can only restrict friends. But on um, Instagram, I have a professional page. I don't have a personal page on Instagram. So and blocking works the same way. I block you, and you're done. Toast. You can't see my profile. You can't comment. You can't even find me if you do a search. Shucks. But restricting is interesting. So if you are restricted, then um, you can comment. But again, the comments are only visible to, to them. Um, if, if I want to see their comment, I can click on see comment. And then if I, if, if I tap on approve, then their, their comment would be visible to everyone. Um, and they, I won't receive any notifications either. So you don't have to deal with the person either. So that is really probably the best thing of all. Um, so restricted users can still find um, my profile in a, in a search. They can still see my username. They can, um, you know, everything is visible, including my comments on other people's posts. That whole direct messaging thing. So I should mention, by the way, that I do not accept direct messages or or, or uh, private messages, no DMs and no PMs. Don't do it. I have people who do. I ignore them. I don't respond to them, so don't do it. Save yourself the hassle. So for direct messages, when they're restricted, um, first of all, I would not receive a notification of that. And um, secondly, it, it's not put in my inbox. It goes to something called message requests. It's a message requests folder. And um, the app doesn't notify restricted users uh, that whether or not I've read their message. It's, it's, a, it's, a <laughs> it's a beautiful thing, people. It just is. Um, if you're in a group chat, Instagram will let me know that there's a restricted user in the conversation, too. Um, now, the, the, the Instagram story views, they can still see the stories, but if they react, their message will, again, uh, be stuffed into the message re requests folder. So I won't be notified, and it's a beautiful view. Um, I should also note that you can further restrict them from seeing your stories. They can still view posts. They can still see all the other stuff, but then they don't see the, the story views, which I find really interesting. Um, you know, they get denied access to something that maybe they really like to see. But if they're behaving poorly or badly or naughty or pick something, pick an adjective, then they don't get to enjoy all of it. Um, now, if they were to tag me, uh, I would receive notifications whenever one of these restricted accounts mentioned me in um, their Instagram stories or they tagged me in, in posts. Um, but blocked users can't even do that. I mean, they, they just can't do diddly squat, which is fabulous by me. But if you have to resort to blocking, which is a beautiful thing, then um, they don't see anything. So that's, uh, that's what happens when, you're, when you do nasty things. Um, so as for TikTok, I don't have a business account on there, though they have been um, pushing that. So all I can do on there is block. Um, so why would I block? Why would I block there? Well. I have found that um, comments are kind of interesting. You know, on, on um, TikTok, the folks I tend to have there are 
deniers. I should mention, since my channel is a history channel, that I'm a huge fan of facts. Thank you. Give me the facts and uh, give me the facts. So um, I have um, no patience for deniers. So for instance, I had been out filming one day. I had stopped to film this state historic marker. And lo and behold, there was um, a memorial monument to 9-11. Wasn't expecting to see that. I didn't know it existed. So I talked a little bit about the history of it first and then read the memorial, which was really moving. I, had to, I actually had to take several takes of that because I was choked up. I posted it to TikTok. One guy commented about some conspiracy theory. Now, that was the second comment I read, and I blocked him. I kind of wish I had left that up, but it's because of the first comment that I blocked his as well. And that first comment, I hope you're sitting down, because I'm glad, I'm glad I am. I was glad I was sitting down when I read the first comment, which was, it never happened. Did you let that sink in? It never happened. How do folks like that get along in life? How do they understand then what happened to the Twin Towers? The 3,000 plus people who were murdered that day, the, the people on the airplanes who died, you know, the Pentagon, it, it, it never ceases to amaze me, the utter disregard for reality. How can they not pick up a book and read about it? How can they not Google this and read and educate themselves? But no, it never happened. I blocked him. I don't need that garbage. And frankly, it's not just me. I don't need anyone else to read that kind of drivel, that kind of stupidity, wanton disregard for reality. Yeah, if you're thinking it makes me angry, it still makes me angry, even right now. On another TikTok post, I had offered a book, recommend, me, a book recommendation on one that I actually own. The title is Auschwitz-Birkenau. It is a, it is a um, book filled with photographs. Um, the photographs are black and white. Uh, most of the book, including the two inside covers, are, are uh, photographs. Um, the photographs were snapped in 67 and 69, 66 and 68, something like that, 19, of course. And um, it was released in 1970 on the 45th anniversary of the liberation of the camp. The, a woman commented, I hope they took pictures of the Olympic size swimming pools and uh, I think of soccer fields. There are no words. And again, a wanton disregard for reality. I, I don't understand that at all. Um, my foundation is in reality, is, is in the facts, is in the truth, is, and, and I just cannot comprehend a lack of knowledge that stunning. So again, even though, I mean, I was absolutely stunned by that. It's, uh, it's beyond anger, it's, it's total disbelief. So I uh, blocked her as well because I, you know, people don't need to read that garbage and believe that, that that's the truth because it's not. And, um, 
It's just utter gibberish. But um, moving into some positive comments. Holy cow, yay for positive comments. On um, Facebook, I belong to several groups. Two reasons for that. One, I love to see the photographs. I love that stuff. I like to read all that, all that stuff, that, all the information that people provide. It's absolutely fabulous. And of course, I like to post my video links and um, the, all, my own stuff that I write. If it's too much information for any given place, I do put a link, a direct link to my website with more information that they can read at their leisure. There was one uh, person in one of the groups to which I belong who um, loves covered bridges, loves them. And uh, she had, um, I had posted some stuff. There are three covered bridges still standing in Charlotte, Vermont, for instance. I filmed all three and posted them and talked about uh, what to watch out for, like traffic, for instance. <laughs> and. Um, she, she commented um, that, that she uh, wrote these down and uh, she actually visited. When she came uh, back to Vermont uh, for a trip, she went to all three of the, those covered bridges in Charlotte. And she, marks, she always marks them down. And I mean, how wonderful is that? They were all beautiful and thank you so much. Wow, wow, absolutely fabulous. A uh, comment from YouTube, which I don't have uh, to show you, but I was in a cemetery. I'd been filming in the cemetery looking for these Civil War veterans. And um, I realized that the sun was setting. So I decided to film a sunset over the cemetery. So I panned and you could see all these headstones. This woman commented that, uh, oh, that was my grandfather's grave. Uh, <laughs> That you, that you caught on camera. Um, I remember that one too, because it's actually a photograph of the, well, I guess her grandfather and grandmother. Um, so that was fun that she let me know that uh, I captured someone she knew. And someone else, um, another woman had commented her, uh, one of the graves I had filmed um, during my walkthrough of this cemetery was, um, was her brother. And it said that um, he had been a veteran and um, he was a, I think it said spec two firefighter, something along that line, a specialist too. And um, I thought it meant that he was, you know, a, 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 a fireman, you know, a firefighter with a the, with the hose and putting out fires. No, you know what that means in the Navy? It means that he was trained to shoot the big guns. That's what it means in the Navy. Doesn't mean that he was using a hose to put out fires at all. Wow. See, I get to learn stuff, and the fact that I captured her brother's headstone, you know, that's really, that's meaningful to me. Um, so, at the end of the day, though, if you're having a problem with someone who's a follower or a subscriber to your channel, there are ways to deal with these folks, and um, hopefully I've given you some ideas in case you didn't know. I mean, you can Google this stuff, and, and frankly, it is faster to Google it than to look at the sites themselves. The sites themselves have this list of blah, 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 more like contract information. Oh, burn your eyeballs out. But if you Google it, it's much faster to find it. Um, so this is Patricia. I'm traveling for history. I really appreciate your being here today. I certainly hope you enjoyed my content. And until I see you again, I hope you have a fabulous rest of your day. Thanks for watching now. Bye.